Well, hello, man cavers. Following the last videos, some of you said you'd like to see this jap going, even if we don't use it. So, I have a sneaky feeling we could use this on the truck. I think it's probably big enough. So let's get him on the bench, and let's see if we can get some sort of life out of that. After at least, at least 30 years under that bench. Right, back in a minute. Welcome to the man cave. Let the games begin. That is a heavy lump. That's to stop your throttle shut now. Well, there we go, man cavers. Here we have a what model Jap this is, I don't know. Tis a shame we're missing the exhaust. But I think we can forgive that. That's weird, how did that go on? There's no thread in that flange. Hmm, I don't know. Exhaust is least of our worries. Right, you know, this engine looks remarkably complete. Nice little glass bowl on there. With compression as well, which is... Whew, that's got good compression. When I say these engines have been sitting 30 years, I'm not joking. When I was a schoolboy, I'm 50 next year, and when I was at school, I used to go to an auction in the summer with my granddad, and I started collecting Jap engines when I was about 10 year old. I've still got my very first one in the shed, that big red Model 5 you've seen before. And I tried collecting, look at that, I still got Good oil in it, nearly at the top as well. Unbelievable. So yeah, I started collecting Jap engines. Well, back then they were in abundance. And you could often go to the auction and pick these up for your 50 pence pocket money, I kid you not. I used to get about 50p. And you'd be surprised what you'd come on with. There was a lot of stuff on the auction sold for 10 pence. So 50 pence, you were all right. Oh, I can't believe that's got compression like it has. Unbelievable. Normally, I mess around taking heads off these old engines, but when they've got compression like this, I don't think I'm going to bother. Right. Now, we've got a mag on this. Have I got the magneto? I think we need to start with the magneto and see if that's got a spark. Ah, before we go on to the engine, Let's check this old mag out. She's the Waiko. I do love these mags. I never tend to have a lot of problems with them. As long as the impulse works. Which it does. Sometimes the gear on the impulse can slip. So we're just going to give her a bit of lubrication all on them gears. That's it. Just give her the best chance she's got. Oh yeah, she got a good click on there now, look. Right. Are we going to get a spark out on it though? Cool. Will the little knob undo? Ah, yes it does. Get that HT lead out of there. There we go. Get him out there. I will just take this top off and have a little look around this. Have a little look around this mag. Alright, let's get me airline and blow him off. If this mag don't work, it ain't the end of the world because I got several of these. I can just pinch one off another engine, but I'd rather use an original. 
There's a wrong off bolt in the bottom of that one. Ah, there's a wrong off bolt in there. Right, let's pop this punch cover off and give these points a clean. She's been off for a number of years. There we go. Is everything complete in there? Yes, we have a condenser. We have good sound. And points actually don't look too bad. They honestly do not look too bad, guys. No. Let's just give them a little clean. Oh, I say they didn't look too bad. You should see the crap boss just come off them. Cool. Look at all that green. Just come off them points, look. Where's my tool gone? Here it is. There we go. We'll just give these old points a clean up and see if this mag got any form of spark to her. These are normally pretty good, our Waiko A series. I, I do like these magnetos. Don't tend to have problems with them. There you go. Right, are them points open? Yep, let's blow that all out. That's blown that crap out of there. Right. I think it's the points opening and closing. Yep, they're closed, open, closed, open. I'm turning it backwards now, that's why it's not clicking. Right. I think because she sat so long, we want a little bit of oil on this little pad in here. There you go, just let that run down a bit. Don't flood that raw oil, because you don't want that spraying onto your points. But it won't hurt to just put a little bit of oil on there, just to oil that cam up. There you go, that'll protect everything, you see. It will protect everything. Right. Let's get this back cover on and see if Maggie has got a spark. Now let's take this top cover off actually. Let me just take this top cover off so I can see what's under there. I want to see what's going on under this cover. Alright, let's have a look. Let me blow these blow off around these screws there we go now will these or will these not undo they often do gee look at that no problem at all so we'll have to just see if that come undone Yeah, that one's off. So is this one, look. I do like to just clean these little tabs up on the top of these mags. Yep, that one's undone and all. I'm going to have to get that wrong off nut out the bottom of that. That wrong off bolt, sorry, out the bottom of this mag because that's rocking. And that's annoying me. I think we need a pair of mold grips. Right, that one's out and all. Last one. No problem, look at that. 30 years in the shed. And everything come undone. Right, it is the old mag going to give us a spark. What's she like under there? Look at that. Look how clean that is under there still. 
It'll bend that towards you a bit, so I've got a bit more pressure on here. That actually looks really shiny. But we will just give her a little bit more of a clean. There you go. Let's give that a blow out this body. Yeah, I tell you, everything's looking all right on the old Mag so far. Really is. So let's put E back on. And we'll see if we've got any sort of spark here. I honestly can't see why it wouldn't. These magnetos are normally absolutely brilliant. Ah, she's now starting to go back in. Ah, that one's nipped up. That one's starting to nip. Ah, that broken bolt in there is really annoying me. That one's starting to nip. There you go, that all going in again, look. Now we can tighten these all down a bit. Don't over tighten them, guys, because these are only baker like these tops. And you can soon crack them. And the last thing you want to do is go cracking your top of your magneto. There you go. Right, let's plump this. What's this old lead like? Well, she's a rum old bit of lead. Right, let's crump her back in here. No, oh, we'll use that old duff. No, we don't. We'll use this end, look. All right, let's put E back in here, look. If I can get it in. There you go, there you go, we're in. All right, let's crank this up. <sighs> Sometimes a job to hold these mags. Because you've got to hold them on the impulse. So let's just wrap our plug lead around here. Right. And we're going to turn this now and see if we've got a spark. Let's get you guys around here. Can you see? Let me hold this turn up. Oh, I missed. So you've got to put a bit of force on these to hold them down. Oh, I can hold that there. Can you still see that plug? No, can you? That's moved. All right, let me hold this down now and see if we've got a spark. Yay! I don't know whether you saw that. Can you still see that? Yep. Let's give this another twiddle. Look. I definitely saw a spark there. We'll find out for sure when we get this back on the engine. But we have got a spark on that mag. <laughs> right, so them mags are normally bulletproof. Absolutely love them. Right. Let's have a look here. <sighs> I'm wondering the first thing I need to do. Does that, oh no, that broken bolt just sits in that hole anyhow and helps locate. Tell you what we are missing. There's a little spider missing out of there. Look, there's a little nylon spider what holds the magneto 45 degrees out to the, no, 90 degrees out to this. Do you know what I mean? You can't just have that button against it because your timing will be way out. Now, have I got one of them? There used to be one of them in the top of the old chap's toolbox. Let me have a rummage and see if I can find the little nylon pad.
So we're back with our magneto. I have got a magneto coupler. That's the bit I was on about. And bolts for the mag. So this little coupler sits on there, look. See that? And then we want to turn that that direction. And now our mag, these lugs on the mag go into that. So we want this upright. And that should, there you go. And that mag should, there you go, she's on. Right. Have I got that 180 out? I really don't know if we've got this 180 degrees out or not. Oh no, there's compression yet. Yeah, we're alright. She's there, so you can get the 180 degrees out if you're not careful. Right. There you go. You want a good connection on them, um... Hang on, I've got to find my spanner, guys. Yeah, you want a good connection on those, on this magneto bracket to make sure that gets a good spark. So, let's whip this plug out of this engine. Cool. If I can get this cap off the top, oh, that's buggered, isn't it? Look at that, I've just cut the top right off that plug. All right, so that old plug ain't a lot good to us, is it? Of course, I've just cut the top right off that. All right, let me get a spanner and get that off. There we go. Will this plug come out here? Oh, oh Jesus, she was tight, but steel plug and aluminium head look. Another 30 year, you wouldn't have got it out of there. Whatever plug have I put in there? She's a long reach, but she's a champion N5. Right. I think this is a new plug. I believe that in a new one. Oh, well, that'll do. It fits. Well, I thought I bought a new plug with me. I obviously didn't. Right, let me clean this plug up. That's what I get for putting old plugs back in new boxes, look. But I obviously put it in there because that's all right, so we'll use it. All right, let's get our HT lead back on here. And then we'll check we've got a spark. Now this mag is on the engine. We should have... We should have. All right. All right, let's get this plug on. There you go. All right, that's on. Now we need to check our sparkum situation. Alright, let's get you around here. So you can be seeing that spark plug. There you go, can you see the gap on that? You can indeed, right, let me... Ah, oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Spark every time, look. See that? Absolutely marvellous. So after all these years, we've got a spark. Aha! Right. I had a feeling we would.
Now I think what we can be doing now is doing my old bit of oil down the cylinder trick before I start spinning this over too much. Oh, that's coming out of the exhaust plug. That ain't going into the cylinder at all. Let's see if we can get a bit into the cylinder there. I was just oiling up that valve guide through the... Ah, that's better. Right, let's get a bit in that plug hole now. There we go. There we go. The mag ain't clicking, so I'm turning the engine backwards. Right. That should have given us enough. Did I or did I not have a handle for this engine? Oh, I did. Does it fit? It does. I'm going to have to clean that bugger up before I use it. I'm a 30 year this has sat under that shed. Right, we need to go through fuel system. Let's just give everything a little squirt. Give her a little soak. Because we're going to have to take off this carburetor. Give her a blowout. Undo all this if we're brave enough. I don't know whether this petrol tap's going to undo before I try on the wing nut. Oh, hang on. Look at that. That petrol tap even open and closed. I know damn well that's going to leak. Because that's dried out. Oh, it's can't believe this is all free, look. Let's just pull this tap out and see what that's like. Can't believe this is all undoing. Right, there is our petrol tap. I think we need to go clean that up in the wire wheel because that's got to go on a seat to turn the petrol off. And while we're doing that, I'm going to let that little nut there soak. Because we want to get that off so we can get that bowl off. So, let me go clean this little thing up. Wherever I've just put it. <laughs> what did I just do with that damn thing? Oh, there it is. Right, I'll go and clean that up, and then we'll be back. All right, here we go. We have our little tank tap cleaned here. So that'll thread it out of there nicely. Cool. I want to try and get this bottom wheel off. This looks aggressive, but I'm... Ah, that's coming. Look at that. Not quite... It weren't quite, oh, I won't do it by hand now, look at that, it's come free. Excellent. But we can do them, and then we can just prise this off, look. For spreading it a little. There you go. And there is, look at all that loose stuff in there. There you go. Look at that. Crud. Which has probably come out of this petrol tank. Which I'm guessing is going to leak like a sieve. Right. You know, that tank actually looks quite good. Oh, there is some shite in there, guys. some shite in there all right all right i've blown this back up now through the tank you can't see a thing i'm doing can you 
And I flow them that back up. That tank actually don't look too bad in there. I mean, there's a bit of sort of dry dust in there, but nothing I'd say is going to hinder us too much. I think what I'm going to do is put this cap back on here and just swill a little bit of petrol through it and let it all out again. So we'll put our thing back on, do the little chabby back up. There you go, he's done up. So we've got to unscrew this all the way, or a fair bit, there you go. Now you screw this bit in. So you'll screw your brass on your tap. You could actually take this out all together. So screw this back on the tap. Ah, that's it. That's it, we want to screw that back on, tighten that up a little bit, there you go, now we can screw this back in. And that should go for a nice firm seat. There you go, that's gone on to a... Right, take it out again and check it. Because that's a job to, you know, clean that seat in there. So once you've cleaned your actual thread... You want to just run something in there. And hopefully that'll hold it. Excellent. Right, I think we need to get... After I've had a little beverage... Mm -mm -mm. Right. Mm. I think we need to get a little bit of petrol and put in there, or even diesel, just something in there, just to swill that tank through a bit. Right. So we have got. Let's turn this round. We have got a little bit of. Uh, a little bit of petrol. I don't want this stuff going into the carb. Should have thought of this before I put this back on, shouldn't I? So we're going to take this back off. Turn this in. We'll shove a bit of this potion I've got here in the tank. Hopefully that won't leak because the tap should be switched off. But I'll put my little catch can under there just in case. We've got a drip look. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the cap back on the engine and give it a swill. That tap was leaking a little look. And that ain't quite seating right. Let me swill this engine backwards and forwards. There you go. All right, now let's let this stuff out. Oh no, that's plugged. We got to have that tap right out of there. Look. Yep, we got to have that tap right out of there. It is totally plugged.
No, that tap is well and truly plugged up. Now, we're going to have to get that tap right out of there, guys. This video is getting quite long, so let me get this tap out. <coughs> Beg your pardon. Right. <coughs> oh, there. Right, we have got the petrol pipe off, so we've now got to see if... Cool. Ah, ah, that does. If this tap unscrews. Wouldn't hurt. Oh, look at that. Yep, yeah, that's why she weren't passing fuel. The screen is clear, but look at that shite in there. Right. Airline it is. Oh yeah, I can feel that coming out there now. Right now, that diesel I put in there, or that potion, I'm now going to let the tank down, I'll let all that stuff run out of there. Look at that. That's some rum coloured stuff. Oh, look at the colour of that. Right. I better empty this in my recycle pot. Ah, uh, you've seen the colour of that stuff what come out of that, look. <laughs> Not so good, is it? Alright, let me get the rest of that old rubbish out of there. Yeah, that's pretty much it. My container's leaking. Yeah, I picked one with a damn crack in it. All right. I can use that old stuff there to clean with. There we go. We don't want to throw here away. All right, I think... Yeah, I think we might be able to. If I run this through there again, leaving the sediment out of the way. If I leave the sediment in the bottom of the bowl. There you go. Well, I'm certainly running a lot cleaner this time. Yeah, that certainly run a lot cleaner that time. But all the sediment float to the bottom, so as long as you don't put that in, we can recycle this a few times. Right, let's try that again. There you go. Oh. There we go. There you go. There is our old crappy fuel we took out of there. So we'll rinse our tap in that and all. And make sure that comes out. And it does. There you go. Let's get my cleanest dirty rag and give this a wipe over. Them old chickens, honestly. Give him a blow. There you go. Pretty damn good. Blow this petrol pipe through now we got it off. Oh, I cracked about the end of that. See that? Right, let's be getting this back on. Oh, there 
There you go, and that lines up, look. Get our thread back in. And the last thing we're gonna do is put our bowl on. Yeah. Excellent stuff. Right guys, let's get our carb off. Well, I'm determined to get this engine damn well running. I kid you not, I am indeed. All right, let me go get some tools. All right, there we go, guys. Get this car off. Now then, look what I've bought. We have bought a set of Whitworth spanners. Now, they're only cheapies. Rolls them. They weren't that dear, actually. Under 20 quid. And let's see... If these Whitworth spanners fit and what they're like. Well, three sixteenths Whitworth is too small. Look at that. Quarter inch Whitworth. Oh. Let's compare that to a metric equivalent. Have I got a metric equivalent here? I only bought limited tools with me, if I'm honest. I bought what I thought I needed, so I can't do a comparison, but either way, quarter Whitworth, oh, look at that, quarter Whitworth seem to be absolutely fine. Yeah, they fit these nuts well, actually, because this is the problem I was faced with, the Imperial weren't right and metric weren't right, especially on these brass nuts, and that round them off, because none of them were fitting well enough but this no it's pretty good that is pretty good now how do we get this carb off this end so i want to disconnect this linkage so i can get that right off now i don't want to take it off the governor now i don't particularly want to take that nut off there but i think i'm gonna to have to Oh, that's coming, look. Look at that. Alright, that's that nut coming off there. This is where we drop it in the grass. Never to be seen again. So let's pull this linkage off. There should be a little washer. There's the little washer. And there you go. There's our linkage off. So if we remember which way that went, Believe in that like so. Yeah, we just got to remember that. Go back on like that. Look. I'll try not to disturb that too much. I just spoke to father and had a bit of dinner. And we've been trying to work out when I would have bought this. Yeah, how, what the hell? That carburetor. Well, that's a cack handed idea, isn't it? That don't come out because that's hitting on the governor body. You know what that means, don't you? That's got to come off this damn manifold. Wow, would you believe it? Would you believe it? It's got to come off of this manifold, guys. And that ain't so good because the whole stutter's coming out of the engine. Never mind. Cool. Let's get the ring end on. There you go. These things are sent to try us, guys. So if we have to get the carb off this way, well, so be it. Both them studs are coming out. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one back on. Yeah, I'm going to put these back on so that carb. So that carb is not going to drop off on us. We'll leave him connected to that manifold. There you go. Oh, 
beg your pardon. Right, let's get this one out. That's loose, but I can't get my fingers in there to do it with my fingers, so we're going to have to do it with a spanner, I think. Yep, can't quite get in there with that. Never mind. Welcome, guys, welcome. So do you reckon this will run? Yeah. Have faith. <laughs> Have faith in man cave. I'm sure she'll go. These old engines are pretty damn simple. Come on, there can't be many more threads on that. Oh, there we go. All right, carburetor. Oh, and that nut won't come out there, so that'll stay. All right, let me get my posh new spanners. I'll leave that one out, because we're using that, aren't we? So I think now we're going to just take this carb to bits. That's a zenith. Blow him off at the top. There we go. There we go. And we'll just see what that's like inside there. Can you see what I'm doing there? Nope, you can't see a thing, can you? There we go. Alright, so these are pretty straightforward carbs. All I expect to find in here is a load of like green powder, if I'm honest. I don't expect to find rust and stuff, I just expect to find a lot of old horrible green powder. Because from memory, there's a little brass check valve in here as well that we really want to have out. And check. So let's take our idle screw right out. He's out. Allowing us to get to these ones. Zenith Type 25T2, I think these are. Twenty four T two, beg your pardon. Type twenty five, that's Volkswagen. I'm getting in my Volkswagens here, look. Alright. Let's see what we're doing. There we go. Give him a little tap. There is a paper gasket on here that I don't particularly. Oh, there's another screw down the bottom here, look. Good thinking, Batman. There we go. No, not that one. So there's a really thin, quite intricate paper gasket. And I'm hoping this will come to bits without breaking that. Because if it do break it, that's going to leak petrol. So I'm really hoping... Ha! We saved the gasket. See, here's our gasket. There's our Venturi port, which is in there. There's our float. And there's just a little bit of crud in the bottom there, but not a lot. I've seen a lot worse. Let me get these wiped down with a rag. This carb is not bad at all. Really isn't bad at all. All them little jets actually look clean. I will just pop some air for them, but they all look... Yep. Yep. I can hear air passing through all of them. Yep, that I can. I can hear air passing through all of these. Yeah, I can feel it coming out. Yep, there's air going through all of them. So we're going to call that tarp clean enough. I think we can get this back together. There. 
So it's top on that float, so you can't get that back in wrong. We dump him in there. There's our little check valve here. Just got to check up moves in and out. Because that's what control your fuel flow. Best thing to do with that is blow up. It's a little bit gammy. But it is holding. So we'll just give it a little bit of witch's piss on there. Take a little backwards and forwards a couple of times. And give her the old blow test again. Yeah. I think that'll do this. Absolutely fine. There we go. Yeah, it's got it. That's got it, guys. There's even a little filter gauze in there. And I did notice on the other end of this petrol pipe, on the nut what goes through, there's a filter gauze on there, look. So blow this out. There you go, you can take that little gauze right off. And there's your petrol. So we'll put that little gauze back on, that'll go over there. So any fuel going into the carb is filtered. Yep, very much so. Alright, what am I doing now? Have we saved all these gaskets on here so I don't have to mess around making new gaskets? Oh, yes, they are brilliant. All right, there's our little gauze. Let's blow the top of this carb out. Yep, that's working. I can hear air passing through every one of these galleries now. So I know we're good to go again. Best thing to do with these gaskets, before you put them back on, just give them a soak and get them wet. Because if they've been dry for years and years, they may well leak. So it wouldn't hurt to actually put them on your pot of diesel so when you squish it down that like impregnate them all right let me get this car back together because this video is getting long enough i'm sure you guys don't want to see me waffling on all this time so let me button him back up Oh my god, this video is getting long enough. Alright guys, I have took the liberty of putting the carburetor back on. Let's get this fuel system reassembled. And then I think we can actually put some petrol in this thing. And go for a start. I think. Alright, I think first thing now really get our petrol tap back on where are we here we go so we need to get this petrol pipe 
started. There we go. Alright, this is our petrol pipe. She's gone back on there. Obviously didn't have that tap quite lined up because the petrol pipe. That's my little spanner gone then. Where are they? There it is. Because my petrol pipe don't quite line up with the carb. So that tells me we've got to twist that tap round a little. All right, let's get this tap twisted around a little. There you go. No, nope. that's going to be loose. Oh, we're just going to nip the pipe a little. That'll do. Right. Let's get this back on. I appear to have lost... Damn, one of my little nylon washers have fell out, and my new ones... Uh, back at home. Let me see if I can find that. Uh, I can't find that. that is either there weren't one on there or that's fell somewhere. So we're probably going to have a little leak up here, but that'll do just to test run. If we have a little weep on the, whoops, if we have a little weep on the carb, we'll know that's just because that wants another O-ring in it. This whole nut is well and truly chewed up on here. Oh, crikey. There we go. All these Whitworth spanners. Ah, bloody brilliant, that. Right. I got my throttle back on. The governor screw in the back here is free, so we can turn that in and out. I think we need to get our fuel bowl back on. So again, get our cleanest dirty rag. And come in here and just clean that bowl out. There we go. All right. I think the rest of this really is an on-the-floor job because I'm not going to start it up on the bloody bench. Now, let's get some fuel in it first. All right, we've got our fuel cap off. I think that tap has switched off, but that's likely to leak a little. Oh, that's leaking a lot. That tap is not working at all. Right, well, we've flushed her out. So let's get our bowl back on. Yeah, we'll get our little bowl back on. I reckon we've got to put some new packing. Let's just give that little glass bowl a little turn just to give it the best chance of sealing. So we may well have some leaks. We will see, won't we? Alright, I can see that bowl is filling up. There you go, that bowl is full. Which is good. And we don't appear to be leaking out of here. Excellent. Let's get this sitting this way. <laughs> And I want to just crack that to make sure we have got petrol. At this carb end. 
Cool, whatever's going on here. Ah, that nut has over tightened. I think I've done it a little bit over much on that nut. That's all rounded off one end, so I'm going to go on that end and see. Oh, yeah, I got petrol that end, but. So our calves should be full of petrol, guys. Give them a little nip. And we haven't even got a leak this end. Brilliant. Right, I think we can be getting this on the floor. Get a spark plug in it. We'll try this old plug here. So let's get this plug in. Well, that old thread's tight in that head, boy. Where that old plug come out? There you go. All right, let's get our mag connected. Then we can get this on the floor and see if the old girl will start. We ain't got no tin on it, so we can't run up for too long. But that'll be worth a go. Let's get this out of the way of that exhaust. Look. So that's not blowing on that exhaust. All right, let me lift him on the floor. And we'll see if we can get some start going. So let's have a go. Whoops. Oh, the hell, we had a flame out there. Cool. Sparking right in, I compression there, compression there. I'm wondering if I got a mag timing 45 degrees out, guys. the head off to see where exactly where the piston is that's a job on of course she should in theory fire off cool well I got compression there got any compression in if we've got any um if the timing's right here guys thing is i can't see down the box all you can see is the valves ah, let me just double check this yeah the plug's getting wet and we've got a spark oh uh, let me check this mag timing, guys. Right, man, cables, to check this mag timing, I took the head off quickly. This video's getting plenty long enough, so I'm trying to make it brief now. And look what happens. Turning at the direction it runs, it's sparking at the bloody bottom. Never going to go with it. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
what did I do? I put the mag on and 80 degrees out. There was always going to be a 50-50 chance it was right. And I'm afraid it was not right. So we've got to take this mag off, turn him 180 degrees till he's clicking. That's our little thing fell out. So turn him 180 here. There you go. Put he there. Put he back on there. Put the bolt back. And now we should find that that click when that's at the top. <laughs> and I, yeah, we was going to be cranking all day there, guys, trying to get that going, weren't we? We would have been all day trying to get that going. Now let's check if she click at the top. There you go. Right, valve's closed. Chap, there we are. Right. <laughs> it was never going to start, was it? No wonder we had a flame out the exhaust. We had time and 180 out. So let's get this head back on. And that should go now. She was never going to start with a time and 180 degrees out, was it? That it weren't. Say so she should pretty much fire straight into life now. And I got chance to have a look on the top of that piston and cylinder, and that's actually really good in there. I know you didn't see it very much, but believe me it was. So let's go for jap start, take two. And see what happens here. Hang on, that bolt didn't come out of there. Maybe I'm being panicky, but I remember that this old bolt come out of the front. There we go. Let's get these proper size spanners I got here and just nip these head bolts down. There we go. Right. I think we need to put a dribble of petrol down that plug hole. <clears throat> Just try and save too much cranking. Whoa, way too much. Perfect. Right. Where's our plug? Let's get him in. So we'll get him in, get our lead on, and hopefully this engine will now run. Take two, or three, or four. Right. Arrgh. 
Let's get you around here again. Now she should start. Nelly. I don't like this crank handle. Let's put some choke on. These handles are rubbish. That don't allow you to get a continuous swing on us. Alright, let's see if that plug is wet. Yes, very. I'm wondering if this old plug is much good, because we're using an old plug here, aren't we? I wonder if that plug is any good. Let me change it out, because I seem to have a very small gap in that. Hmm, let me find another plug. Oh, I couldn't find another plug. But I have cleaned and re the old one, because I had a very small gap. Oops. We're getting a bit of smoke. But we don't appear. Let's hold her a bit of choke again. Say she should go. <sighs> she really should go, guys. <clears throat> we ain't lost that spark, have we? I'm still wondering if that's this plug, and I just haven't got another one. Hang on. <sighs> I wonder if I can pinch a spark plug out of something else. Let's check we've still got a spark here, guys. I'll check it for you. Believe me, I hope you see it. Oh, yeah. Brilliant spark. Yeah, we've got a good spark. That's sparking everywhere, actually. That's got about four sparks of revolution, so... That old mag is certainly doing some work. But it's a bit bizarre. I used to have a little squeezy bottle somewhere. That's a bit bizarre that, um... There you go, there's a little bit, little bit of petrol in that plug hole. That's a little bit bizarre that she, um, ain't even trying to start on us. Oh, 
let me give everything a check. All right, we shouldn't need any choke because the cylinder is full of fuel. Oops, that easy. That's very unusual. This thing should run like a trooper. Really should. This thing should fire straight off. I think we're going to have to call this video a day here, you know, because it's getting way too long, and I'm not really sure what to check next. We have good compression. Everything appears as it should. Yeah, we've got sparks jumping about there everywhere, so she's definitely got a good spark. Definitely. But why isn't she going? This I really don't know. Yep, I really don't know why she's not going. We'll give her one more go, and if that don't work, we're going to call the video a day, and I shall have to do a little revisit. It's going everywhere bar in the plug. Oh, there you go. I'm going to have to get my little squeezy bottle back, aren't I? And try and find a different plug to put in here because I'm not convinced of this old spark plug, you know. I have got a new one here, but ain't one where the top unscrew. And unfortunately, we need one where the top unscrews. All right, let's have one more go. Easy. Oh. That is very close, guys. That is so trying. Most unusual. Most unusual, guys. Right. I'm going to have a hunt for a spark plug, and that is going to be it. All right, I've got a new plug, which I borrowed out of a running engine. So I know this plug is good.
let's see if that makes any difference at all this end, this plug actually came out of another jap engine so it might be right <clears throat> Right, now let's try it. Nope. Wow, well, this engine's kicking my butt. So normally these things should go by now. We've cleaned out that carb. Yeah, we've cleaned out that carb. There are no excuses now why that should run, shouldn't run. Let's try a little bit of fuel down the cylinder trick and then if it don't go, we're calling it a day. Alright, that's got a little bit of fuel in that cylinder now. Now let's have a go. Whoops. Well, we're getting some sort of flame. Mystery guy. We know we've got the timing right. We're aware of this, aren't we? No, nope, absolutely nothing, though. Well, I am going to call it a day there and see what you guys think we should do. Because, to me, that's a mystery. An absolute mystery. Why this is not going. Right, I'm just draining the petrol out of the carburetor. Right, she's definitely got a little bit of petrol in that carburetor. Yep, she definitely just emptied the carb bowl. Maybe that carb was not clean enough. I was pretty sure that was alright though. Pretty sure that was alright. I was just pressurising that tank just to make sure we didn't have a problem with that carb. Make sure nothing was sticking on it. No, I don't think it is. Whoops, wrong handle, mate. Wrong handle! No, 
out with nothing. That is a mystery. That really is a mystery as to why this don't go. Well, there you go. We're going to have to call this video a day, guys. Sorry it's so long and drawn out for a non-eventful end. But that's my videos why I leave everything in. Ah, the files, the cock-ups and everything. I cannot see why this little thing is not starting. I really can't. It should do. We've wiped all the oil out of the cylinder when I had the head off. <sighs> we know it's sparking at the right time. But that's about it. That's about all we do know. So, I'm afraid that is going to be it for this video. A very long video, I know. But nevertheless, a video... Sorry for the disappointment, but you have seen everything of the 30 years of sleep this engine's had. At least 30 years. Because I bought these when I was at school. So, yeah. They have been under the bench all that time, and she just ain't quite ready to wake up yet. Ah, we'll see, will not we? Anyhow, let me know if you think this is suitable for the Bonzer truck. Whether you think that's big enough, I believe it is. Yeah, I, I think she'd be about big enough. If not, we'll have to find something else. Either way, it's nice to drag one of these engines out and save it. So, yes, that's going to be it for now. We are going to go, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye for now. Ha-ha! Why, cool.